And Montana's congressional delegation is often asked what they think about President Donald Trump's latest tweets or controversial statement and whether they agree or support the president. But what about their support on something more substantial, such as votes on key issues before Congress? MTN's chief political reporter Mike Dennison took a look at those key votes and files this report. We looked at the results compiled by the website 538.com including 134 House and Senate votes over the last 18 months. Republican Congressman Greg Gianforte, who's running for governor next year, has been Trump's biggest supporter in the delegation, voting with the president 97% this year and 95% overall. He's been voting no this year on nearly all Democratic-led initiatives in the House, like a bill last week to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. His only significant vote this year against the president taken in January was for a bill opposing a Trump plan to lift sanctions on three Russian companies, which died in the Senate. Republican U.S. Senator Steve Daines has voted with the president 71 percent of the time this year and 85 percent overall. This year, Daines opposed Trump several times on foreign policy. He, too, supported the Russian sanction bill that failed, and he voted for a bill to end U.S. aid to Saudi Arabia in the Yemen civil war and the failed attempt to override a Trump veto on the same bill. But he's been a loyal supporter of the president on many issues, such as restricting abortion, repealing regulations, and confirming Trump's nominees to the cabinet and U.S. Supreme Court. Montana's Democratic U.S. Senator John Tester has supported Trump on just 32 percent of key votes listed by 538.com, but only once this year, and that was Tuesday, when he voted to confirm new Defense Secretary Mark Esper. He's voted no on confirming other nominees, such as Attorney General Bill Barr and Interior Secretary David Bernhardt, and voted against money for the border wall, against abortion restrictions, and against U.S. aid for the Saudis in the Yemen civil war. Tester's office says the 538.com data don't tell the whole picture, and that the senator has voted for priorities supported by Trump, such as a public lands package and defense spending in the Middle East. Both Danes and Gianforte are up for election next year. That's when Montana voters get to tell these candidates whether their votes for the president are a positive or not. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. If you'd like to see the votes of all the delegations and how they voted with uh, or against the president, take a look at Mike's story on our website, ktvh.com.